Hello. Hi. It is good to be with you today. It really is. Mm, nice to see you. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for joining me. Well, I've been sort of thinking today <clears throat> about what I might share. I had some ideas of what it might be. But what's really coming up is this need to be absolutely authentic. And all the other videos have been. Please understand that. But um, <laughs> I suppose where I'm coming from is that I've had a really difficult week, a really raw week, a very upsetting week, a very challenging week. Lots of things um, which are coming up, which have put me into this sort of feeling of, well, it hasn't done anything to me. <laughs> what it has um, brought to my awareness is a sense of powerlessness and lack of control, my safety and security, you know, my sense of safety and security and fear of not having those have really been set off big time. Mm. And it's a year today that my dad died. So that's swirling around. And also I recognize that I'm trying to fix things or I want to fix things that are happening in other people's worlds. And I have no control over that. I can't do anything. Um, yeah. So anyway, I kind of thought, yeah, I could do a sort of channeling on self-love. That's the easy way out when all the stuff is up, you know. And I was like, no, I really feel that it's important to show up as I really am because I know hard stuff happens to all of us. I'm not alone. We all have really crappy times sometimes, <laughs> really challenging ones. And so I really want to turn up as that. And... And kind of, I suppose, a question I have for you is when, when you feel like that yourself, whether it's overwhelmed, stressed, upset, whatever that is, when it gets really intense, and I know you all know what that feels like, where do you feel it in the body? You know, how do you sense it? With me, my big giveaway is my throat. Oh, Yeah. When things get really rough for me, my throat really hurts. Kind of an aching. An intensity, an aching, a constriction. Mm, that's my sign to say, go inwards, go inwards. Go inwards that I need to bring the awareness into myself. Because things have got a little too crazy. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I am going to open up my Akashic Records with you all today and with a view to what's going to come through as a transmission being for when we're in these times of distress, of hopelessness, of kind of not knowing, of fear, <laughs> ah, you know, life as I knew it has changed. And, you know, stopping oneself from going into all of the scary thoughts about that, coming back to the present moment. One thing I've been doing today a lot, it's like, finger, look at my finger, look at my finger. At the moment, I was starting to go off into a whole cascade of thoughts and beliefs. I'd kind of just like, look at your finger, look at your finger, look at your finger. And in my book today, I have been writing about the 4-8 breathing technique probably shared it with you already. So simple. Breathing in for a count of four, breathing out for a count of eight. <laughs> so yes, you know, remembering to employ all of these tools that we have. I'm sure you have your own tools that work so well for you. I, and I don't know about you, but when things get really rough, sometimes I can forget to do that because I have gone into the mind into scary thought mode, disaster thinking, ah, what's going to happen? Oh my God, it could be this, it could be that. Oof, just stop. Let go of my thoughts, don't attach to my thoughts. Think of them as clouds in the sky simply passing by. 
And just take some deep breaths. Come back into the body. Wriggle your big toe. Look at your finger. <laughs> I'm actually holding a stone. I have a black moonstone with me today. I like stones. So anyway, yeah, it may feel a bit random and a bit wittering today, but um, I, I really sense there's going to be something very valuable for all of us, yourself included, uh, through witnessing vulnerability, witnessing authenticity, not just putting a happy face on stuff when life is rough, that we all can have the courage to show up as we really are in that moment. Mm, just being real with ourselves, that putting some happy little reframe onto everything. God, that really annoys me. Don't know about you. <laughs> um, anyway, it's important to be real, not, not really linger in it, if you know what I mean. It's a bit of both. We have to kind of honor it and feel what's there. So anyway, I have some koshi bells. That's what I believe they're called. Um, just going to... I think you've seen these, but I really love them. Let's just listen to these. Close your eyes and listen to these for a minute. Wow, I actually really felt like that smile coming over my face then, you know. That's so... like, <laughs> mmm, it actually just feels delightful. It's like it has a silence that lingers. My chanting teacher, Lisa Pack, tells me about that. So much power in the silence after the sound. So let's go ahead and I'm going to open up my Akashic Records and let's see what wants to come through for all of us when we are in times of great stress. Mm. Mm, sit comfortably, lie down, close your eyes and take some deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth and if you can fall into the 4-8 rhythm because it will stimulate your vagus nerve and activate your parasympathetic nervous system, your relaxation response. Mm, that's it, beautiful, okay, I'll begin. Love, light, peace, I step into time eternal. I return to my home divine. Woven in circles, embraced in light, whole in the cycle of sisterhood. We come together in love to honor the Akashic records of Rachel Jane Lynette, seeking guidance, clearing a path, and stepping into divine knowledge with the light of peace and the love of spirit. Amen. The Akashic Records are now open. Well, open up every level of your being to receive love. Focus on your crown chakra widening like you know, its diameter is getting bigger and bigger. Allowing more love to flow into your body. Imagine love 
seeping in through every pore on your skin. Filling yourself up entirely with the energy of love, of all that is in times of distress, in times of deep upset. Let yourself fill up with love. And if you hear any background noises, let it, let them be there. They're the noises of life. The noises of life force energy, including the little dog who was barking. The sound of some children on the street. It's all life and all a cue to simply go deeper into your being. Going deeper than any distraction. Going to the place so deep inside of you that's beyond distraction. It's untouchable. Now where, dear souls, is there tension in your body or pain in your body? In Rachel, it's in her right hip, somewhere where she holds on to stress and lack of power in particularly. Notice what's calling out to you in your own bodies and direct some more of the love there. Not trying to change it. Not trying to change it in any shape or form. Not saying it needs to go away. Or improve. Just letting it be just as it is and saying, I love you. I love you and I accept you just the way you are. Breathing out any tension. All control mechanisms, all the ways in which humans try to control their lives so that things feel safe, feel secure, so they're certain of the path that's going to unfold. So desperate for this sense of all is well but without the spiritual platitude of oh everything is all fine everything's well everything's good that's a trick of the mind let's take that band-aid off go right into what's really here be really true and honest with yourself breathing out Anywhere where you've not told yourself the truth. Breathing it all out. The ways you've tried to make yourself feel better about yourself or things that are happening in your life. Instead of, yes, circumstances are here. Control? Not possible. Go right into the core of that energy of desperately trying to control. Yeah, take yourselves right into the core of that energy of control. All the way inside. Deeper and deeper and deeper to the point where you think you couldn't even go any deeper and go deeper again, deeper and deeper. Continue going deeper. And what are you discovering? What is here for you? So this is it's where this restriction lies, this tension in the throat, it's where it really lies in the heart of this tendency of humans to try and control things, wish they were different, wish that there was peace instead of war, wish that life would just go to plan in the way that we want it to. 
And can you in this moment, as you exhale, just release in your body, shed the control mechanism as if you're taking off a suit of armor. Mm. As if there's an old belief that this armor can protect you in some way, shield you against life, against unpleasant things happening, unplanned things happening. Let the armor fall away. Feel totally naked without your armor. What comes to mind, it's as if one is an amoeba rather than even a human underneath all of that, this sort of soft cell thing, (laughs) being. Ah, feel the freedom. Feel the freedom and taking yourself all the way down to the individual cells, to the level of your cells. instead of the complex whole human being with all of its strategies and programs and all the conditioning, the things that have and haven't happened, all the loves, all the losses, all the hopes, all the dreams, all the problems. Go back to the cell level. Be still there a while. And welcome in love. Feel the love in your cells. Perhaps it's been dormant. We're sending the energy to gently, lovingly rouse those cells from their slumber. As if kissing them on the forehead, touching them on the shoulder and saying... It's time to wake up. Dear beloveds, it's time to wake up. And as they wake, perhaps you can imagine them stretching, yawning, breathing out the old control strategies and tendencies. Shaking off the old. Letting the old fall away. Trusting and being in the void of where you have no idea what's going on. No clue what's going to happen next or how life is going to unfold. Perhaps you can detect the faint glimmer of opportunity. Focus on that for a moment. But making sure that you're not creating it. This isn't about creating and manifesting in this moment. It's about noticing what's already there. The seeds of opportunity. The seeds of possibilities. The seeds of expressing yourself fully as you are. As your whole, complete, magnificent, healed, radiant self that goes way beyond your human body. Your infinite self. that remains when this body dies. Welcome home. That's who you are. And with your intention in this place, in love with a capital L, where's your control mechanism now? Try. 
and see what happens. Try, put your, try to start up your controlling. Go on, give it a go, really give it a go. In this place of love though, I dare you. But really be in the energy of love when you do that. There, can you feel it? Mm, like a glow that begins in the heart and radiates out and dissolves, evaporates away struggles, beliefs, unpleasant thoughts, scary thoughts. Take your attention to those parts of your body that show you when you're feeling really stressed or overwhelmed or upset and notice, how is it feeling now? Is there a change? Was there not a change? And Rachel, her throat has got a lot more open, much more open. It's as if blood is being taken to the area. Letting go of all of the old ways of being that just don't serve you. Let yourself be filled with love, but give yourself permission to receive love of every kind. Receive divine love into your being, filling you up, toes, feet, ankles, calves, knees, thighs, pelvis, abdomen, chest, fingers, hands, lower arms, elbows, upper arms, shoulders, neck, head, oh, filling you all the way up. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Beautiful. Let this sensation move through all of your body, out into your energy field. That you are love and radiating that out into the world. Who you are is so much bigger than your thoughts and your beliefs. Those scary little stories that you tell yourselves. Come to the vastness of who you are. Come to the vastness of who you are. And when difficult times arise, treat it as a doorway inside to your heart. Go to the place that's feeling disharmony or pain or discomfort. Literally visualize it like you're opening a door and taking yourself deep inside and see where that connects into your heart, because it does. Taking yourself into the center of the center of the center of your heart, into your heart of hearts, your energetic heart. And that's where you'll discover the truth every single time. It's always here, regardless of what's taking place in your outer environment. You are loved. You are love. And it's okay to feel uncomfortable in the not knowing. It's okay when fear, anger, resentment, disappointment appears, whatever emotions appear, it's all fine. Just like weather in the sky coming and going, that rather than letting yourself get caught up there and stuck there, Go deeper, go into the energy of them. Take time to be in silence. Do things that raise your vibration, get out into nature, go exercise, dance, 
put some music on that you love, cook a wonderful meal, take a fragrant bath, do whatever it is that really makes you feel good. Look after yourself on every level of your being. Be gentle and kind. And even if it's only one tiny step that you can take, one of those things is perfect. But remember to go inside and and sense how that makes you feel. And when you do that, you know, ah, yeah, mm -hmm, I'm on track, this feels good. This feels good, and we can thank yourself. Thank the divine and thank yourself for taking the time to do that one wonderful thing for yourself. Mm. Take some final deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. (sighs) Breathing out whatever is ready to leave your body. close. Much love to all of you. Thank you, masters, teachers, and loved ones. Amen, amen, amen. The Akashic records are closed. Well, I feel lighter. I do. I feel, I, I feel like there's been a shift that's taken place, you know. I still feel very tender. And like I've been kind of dragged through a hedge backwards, as you might say in the UK. Ah, but I feel the energy of love. I feel love in my cells. I feel... It's as if I've given myself permission to really just slow down and put some non-essential things to the side for now. Mm. So if you have, if, you know, you've had a, been having a rough time, perhaps that helped you too. I hope so. That would be wonderful. If the sharing has been beneficial to you. It's my intention in these videos is to be real and raw and honest and authentic. Yeah. It's really my little love offering to the world to be of support, to guide, to inspire, to be a catalyst in other people's transformations and healings. It's really what I'm all about. We're all little droplets of love. And how wonderful when we can all be of service to each other in some way, to be real and authentic and vulnerable. Mm. Well, I'm gonna get my kosher bell out again. Chime, sorry, I think it's called a kosher chime. (laughs) Okay. Mm. Just listen into this. Right. Well, that was a different tone today, but that's me today. It's me showing up as me today for you. And it has been an honor as usual. It's been a pleasure. It really has, actually. Um, mm. 
And I'm sending so much love from my heart to yours. For wherever you are on your journey, wherever you are in your life. Yeah. Mm, holding that space for all of us to just show up authentically. And if you like the video, please do a like underneath. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So you find out where my new videos are posted. And please share it with your friends if it's been of value to you or if you know of somebody that it might help. Let's spread the word of love with a capital L in the world. Thank you for being with me today. I really appreciate it. Until next time. Goodbye.